What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I do not have a teaming haul for you guys. Today I have an Ollie's haul for you guys. Um, it's not huge. Um, there's a lot of food items in it. Uh, that always seems to be the case whenever we go to Ollie's is I always find a lot of different food items that I want to get. Um, just because they have, they get a lot in, um, there's like closeouts and stuff. So they get a lot in that you might not be able to find in the store. So it always happens. So, um, let me show you what I got. Like I said, it's not a huge haul. Let me try to sit up a little bit more. So it's not a huge haul. Um, and it's probably going to be kind of quick. So, um, let's just get into it. Um, first thing I can show you is we got three boxes of the cinnamon sugar rice krispies. I tried this about a month ago. I found a box in the, the grocery store and even then it was already on like a markdown rack. Sorry, I'm trying to sit up. <laughs> so even then it was already like on a markdown shelf and I tried it and y'all these things were so good. And I wish this was something that they had available like regularly year round, but it's not. These are so good y'all. So I got three boxes of these, three boxes of these. Um, and my boyfriend kind of laughed at me. He said, you're stocking up, aren't you? I was like, yeah, these are really good. And we got two boxes of the Eggo cereal because he saw these and he couldn't remember if he liked them better than this other cereal he gets called Waffle Crisp. Um, it's kind of a B, B level brand of cereal. Um, not necessarily a store brand, but it's not like a major brand. But anyway, so he got two boxes of these. He was just going to get one, but I'm like, what if these are the ones that you like better? I said, go ahead and just get two boxes. So he got two boxes of this. And then we got one box. It's a big box of Frosted Flakes because he felt like getting a box of Frosted Flakes as well. <laughs> so, take all that up. And um, in case you're wondering, the Rice Krispies were $1.99. And I know these are like three, dump, three something at the store. Um, it says the regular price is supposed to be $3.79. Um, like the regular manufacturer suggested price is $3.79. These were $1.99 each. The Eggo cereal, um, also $1.99. Um, it says the manufacturer suggested price is $2.99. So that was not as much, not quite as good of a, dis of a deal a discount, but I do think you can find these in the store. Um, I do think you can still find these in the grocery store. So, but we just happened to see them there and he picked some up. And in case you're wondering, the Frosted Flakes were Frosted Flakes were $2.79 for this big box. And I know that's a pretty good deal. Um, I know you can, this this big box like this at a grocery store, regular price, will probably cost you like five bucks. So that's pretty good. Um, what does it say? Suggested manufacturer price, $3.98. It says $3.98, their price. So I don't know. But I know name brand cereal is not cheap. So those are going to be going back here. I do need to clean some stuff out. You can't see it, but on top up there, um, I have a box of um, the packs of veggie fries. I need to kind of check the check into those, look and look at those, and see if they're still any good. Because I feel like they they probably have gone bad by now. They probably need to be thrown away. Um, and there's some other things in here that I need to kind of go through and and kind of organize and stuff. So those will be going on the shelf. Um, so what else we got? In keeping with the food, we got, he got two boxes of the Scooby Snacks. So two boxes of the Scooby Snacks. Yes, you can find these in the stores. Um, in fact, he just bought one the other day when we went to the grocery store. But he goes through these things really fast. He loves them for whatever reason. 
um, and they were 99 cents each. And the, the tag says their price is $1.99, but I feel like it's more than that actually. So, but 99 cents a box, not half bad. Um, and then I also picked up a box of Frosted Apple Fritter Pop-Tarts. This is a 16 count uh, for $2.79. And it says their price is $4.98 or four something. I don't have my glasses on. $4.38? $4.98, something like that. So a box of Apple Fritter Pop-Tarts. Haven't seen these in the store, at least not for a while. So this may have been something from fall. I don't know. <laughs> no clue. Um, but I know I just, I picked up a box, 16 count. Um, and then also speaking of fruit snacks, for whatever reason, we decided to pick up a box of Island Fruit Welch's Fruit Snacks. And these were $2.49 for these. And it says regular price. Their price is $3.29. So put those up. And yes, you can find these in the store as well. Um, a lot of things at Ollie's, even though you can find them at the grocery store, it's not something that's hard to find. Um, the ones they get may be close to expiration. Um, like I just happened to look over in these Welch's Fruit Snacks. It says the expiration on them is uh, November of this year. So it may be things that are getting close to their expiration. Um, so just make sure you're checking those expiration dates. Um, but it's still things that you can find in store. Like if I were to go to Walmart, I probably wouldn't have any trouble finding those Welch's Fruit Snacks or the Scooby Snacks. Like I said, we just got a box at the grocery store the other day. Um, but the ones you get at Ollie's just might be closer to the expiration date. So definitely check that out. If you go to Ollie's, make sure you're looking at expiration dates. Um, next up, I saw these. They had this kind, um, it's Tasty Bite Organic Tandoori Rice. And this was $1.29. They had this and then they had also had the um, Basmati Rice. Um, so, but I've, I've had, I just, I thought this was, it's more of a flavored rice, this tandoori rice. So I thought I would try that and see if it was any good. Because I love Indian food, y'all. <laughs> I love, certain to a, to a certain extent, I like, I like Indian food. So, but pick that up. This is long grain rice with aromatic Indian spices. So, got that. Um, and then I also picked up a bag of these chips. Well, not chips, but they are cheese curls. Um, I actually got these first for the first time at a Cracker Barrel a couple years ago. Um, and every once in a while I'll find, I'll find them at Ollie's. Um, it says hers, hers, grilled cheese and tomato soup cheese curls. And they're really good, y'all. They're really good. You can taste the tomato in these it's they're really good and i like i get them at from time to time like i said you can find them at ollie's every once in a while but i first tried them a couple years ago i got i got a bag of them at cracker barrel and i thought they were so good um and these were 249 regular price uh, their price three 329 so 249 Um, and I also picked up, this may be the last of the food items, possibly. Okay. So lastly, as far as the food items go, we picked up Zachary brand orange flavored Thin Mints. They did have regular Thin Mints and they actually had thick mints too. Um, but I just thought these were different. Um, didn't really want a minty kind of Thin Mint. So I thought I would get some of these that were the flavored kind. Which, I mean, they're still going to be minty, but, um, I just, I liked it because, you know, you get that taste of orange in there too. So, pick those up. Those were $1.19. Their price, $1.79. So, not a huge, huge discount, but, uh, a little bit of a discount. Um, and I'm trying to see if I can see an expiration on here. Um, I can't. 
can't tell what that is. Um, I'm not seeing expiration on here. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing an expiration date on here. It doesn't mean there's not one listed on the inside, but, uh, but yeah, that goes. So that was all the food items that we got. So, what else did we get? Oh, no, I take that back. There was one more food item. A couple more food items, my bad. So, a couple more, like, food-related items. Food-adjacent, if you will. Um, I found this big bottle of sugar-free toasted marshmallow flavoring syrup from, what's the brand? Previsto? Gourmet? Something like that. Previsto? Um, and this thing is, this thing is hefty. It's big. This is not going to fit on my shelf that I keep all the rest of my flavorings. Um, I'm going to have to probably keep it over by my coffee maker. Um, and it was $2.29. And it says their price was three ninety eight. So, and this is seventy seven hundred fifty milliliter slash twenty five point four fluid ounce. So twenty five ounces, big bottle. Um, and they also had I did see vanilla, but then I also saw I think caramel, but I already have caramel flavoring or something. I saw it's either caramel or s'mores. But I thought, well, I already have that flavoring, so I don't need that one. But I thought this one would be interesting to get the toasted marshmallow. Maybe with a chocolate syrup in my coffee, my iced coffee. We'll see. So, pick that up. And then the last, last thing, food adjacent item that I, that I got. Um, just some chef's own um, vegetable oil non-stick spray. Nothing exciting. <laughs> Um, $1.99 says their price $2.49. So, um, because I have vegetable spray that's like butter flavor, um, I just wanted a regular, regular type of vegetable spray, um, cooking spray, um, for like spraying, um, a casserole pan or something, you know, where I didn't really need the butter flavoring. Um, so yeah, pick that up. So that is definitely the last of the food items. Let me. I know y'all don't like looking at me like that. Um, so just a couple more items to show you. Um, <laughs> so, well, let me get this stuff together. So I did pick up a couple of health kind of related stuff. Um, first off, we picked up a spray, Band-Aid Antiseptic Cleansing Spray. Um, kills 99.99% of germs to prevent infection, no sting, for minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. This was $4.99. This is their price, eight twelve. Sorry, low battery. So pick some of that up for $4.99. So he works out in the yard a lot, so this could be useful. <laughs> so got that. Um, and then at checkout, when we were checking out, I actually saw this. And this is just like a, like a travel size almost, a Benadryl um, It Relief Stick. Sorry, and this was $1.99. So their price was $3.89, I think that's what it says. So just some Benadryl um, It Relief Stick. Like if he accidentally gets into some poison ivy. <laughs> or mosquito bites or something, maybe this will help, so. Um, and then he also got a couple of pairs of gloves um, because he, he was actually saying the other day that he needed a new pair of work gloves. So, and I told him, I said, go ahead and get, get you a couple different ones for, you know, that way you can say what you need. So he picked up these, I think these are true, what's, what's the brand on these? They got the sticker covering it. Um, hold on while I look. True Grip. Pigskin leather, pigskin leather gloves. Um, and he likes these mostly for doing the workout, um, like when he's working out at the house and stuff, because these are actually kind of flexible. Um, and they were $5.99, and it says their price, $17.99. 
So he picked some of these up. And then he also put um, got some of these. Um, these are stiffer. Um, he said he could always use these for maybe working out in the yard or something like he's having to tote around tree branches or something. Um, and these are also $5.99. And this one says their price $7.99. So these are just some regular steel ton, steel, steel ton, steel ton, reinforced split leather glove. So just another leather glove. Um, like I said, these are a lot stiffer than the other ones. So he said these would probably be good for working out like around the yard and stuff. So, um, and then a couple of last things that we got. I got, um, I saw this, it's a magnifying sheets, three magnifying sheets. Um, and they were $4.99 and it says their price $7.99. I got this as a pack of three magnifying sheets. Um, but I actually got these because I feel like I need help magnifying sometimes when I'm working on my needlework patterns. The, the pad, the, if I'm working on a, a printed page, sometimes the pattern, the print is a little small. So I got some of these to kind of help with being able to see the pattern. So we're gonna see. And let me I might actually kinda take these out and see what they're like. So I don't just see. So these are a pretty thin thin sheet. Um it says there's three of them. It says there's three of them. Oh, <laughs> I thought this was a three pack, y'all. This is a three time magnification. Oh my God, Lord help, heaven help me. So this is a three time magnification sheet. Can you see me? <laughs> um, kind of see. So we're gonna try that and see if that helps out reading my pattern. Um, do I have it here with me? I have this one here, which I can look at and see. Um, it does work a little bit better if you're holding it closer. Not crazy about the fisheye effect, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, I don't know what all this is for right here. Um, does it tell? So there's a hanging hole... Oh, I guess it's supposed to be a hanging hole or a bookmark. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. So, pick that up. We're going to give that a shot. And then lastly, um, got this big... <laughs> Uh, big Elmo book um, that my daughter latched onto right away um, and she gets to look around and find different things in the pictures so so I think she'll have fun with that she loves looking at the books and and finding things and locating things and She'll look at this picture and say, oh yeah, Abby, yeah. So, <laughs> she likes, she just likes looking at pages and and noticing, seeing things so that she recognizes. So, got that. Um, that was $5.99 and it says their price $9.98. So, pick that up. So, yeah, that was my little Ollie's haul. Um, I don't remember how much it was. So don't ask. <laughs> I want to say it was like 60 something dollars. I don't remember. Um, so that's all I got for y'all right now. Um, I'm going to go and try to make some of that homemade creamer from TikTok. So I'm going to try that and see how I like that. And if I like it, next time I make some, I will take y'all along with me. But I don't want to make it yet until I know if I'm going to like it. <laughs> so 
But that's it for right now, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you saw anything that you liked, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you keep finding yourself coming back to my channel because you like what I show, you like my hauls, um, go ahead and subscribe. You can, you can change the notification settings if you don't want to actually see when I upload, but why wouldn't you want to know when I upload a video? You know, if you like the hauls, you know, might want to keep up with when I upload, so. But I will let y'all go. I will see y'all again real soon with another Timu haul because I, do, I am waiting for some to come in. Um, so I will see y'all then next time. And uh, until, I, until then, be good. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.